and the sad time has come. It's time to take Christmas down. But the good news is, it's not hard to be hard to do like it has been in years gone by. You've got your new tree time Christmas tree, and you're wondering how do I take it down? How do I store it properly? Well, the first thing that we think you should do is check your tree for any burnt out lights. What I do when I'm putting my tree up and taking it down is I just keep some spare bulbs in my pocket, and as I go, I'm looking for any bulbs that are out, and I replace them. Uh, I have taken a quick look at this tree, and I do know that we're already taken care of. All the lights are strong and and solid on this tree, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to take it down and get it stored for the for the upcoming summer season. The first thing I'm going to do is kill the lights. Once I've done that, I can break it apart into its three sections, just like it was in the box, starting by unplugging the top section from the section below and just lifting it out of the tree. Just grab the, the cord, pull it on al along with it. And I'm actually going to take this section and just put it to the side because I like to end with this section in the top of my storage bag. Now what we recommend is that you don't put this tree back in the box. Instead, you put it into something that's bigger than your box was. That way you don't have to crush all of the work and undo what you did to make this tree beautiful in the first place. I still have a lot of fluff, a lot of openness to this tree, and to keep myself from having to redo that work next year, I'm going to put it into actually our most popular product. It's this rolling tree bag. So I'm just going to open it up. It has a big open space. And I'm actually going to start with the next section on the tree. And you just kind of spin it and get a feel for where it breaks, one to the next. And just as we plugged it in section to section, I unplug it in the same way. And then I just lift that section out. And what I like to do is just simply turn it upside down, take the branches, push them down, give it a little bit of a bear hug. So I'm not pushing it like I would put it back into the, the factory box. In fact, we recycled our factory box responsibly. And then I just take this section and I lay it into the base of this tree bag. This bag has these great outside cinch straps that allow you to tie everything together. I do the same thing with this section, first loosening the stand from the bottom. Pulling that section up, again flipping it over, giving it a little bear hug. And placing it down into the tree, or into the tree bag. So if you notice, I've laid it in a way that the bulk of the tree sits to one side and the other. And I have nice natural spaces now where I can do the same thing with the top. Give it a little bit of a hug. And this is of course much more space than I started with in the box. So you can see how this will be so much easier next year because my tree is still mostly fluffed in here. Pull these straps along. You can give them a little cinch, a little snug. So I've cinched my tree into the bag. I've pulled everything up. I do still have my stand. So I want to collapse it in the same way that you found it in the first place in your box. You can leave that snugged into one side there. Just lay it on top. Zip the bag closed. And in just a few minutes, I've taken that full upright fluff tree, completely disassembled it, and got it ready to store. And with this great bag, you can tie everything together, handles up, and just like walking through the airport, you're done.